All right. The um, the smashes at the beginning is good. We're going to get rid of the orchestra conductor, even though that's really good with the dancing guy. I'll get rid of the dancer. Uh, I'll get rid of one of these, I guess. Okay, that's not bad. We'll see what we get for our starting power. Yeah, so we're going to Eureka turn one and hopefully get a lot of little minions to be able to work with our own life of the party. And he just does that. He's super grow and hardy, so yeah. Eureka. The madness. And is that good? We actually got a... <laughs> got a rodeo. And wow, now we have a paparazzi. Is the paparazzi better here? Yeah, it is. So we're going to first paparazzi. We'll do it in... I guess we'll do it in this lane. We'll save the Unlife of the Party for a little bit higher. Unlife of the Party, I fa find, works a little bit better later. Oh, and yes, perfect smash target. Oh, yeah. Put a 3-2. That's why I don't like the Fire Pea Shooter, personally, when I'm playing the Mega Go class, because it dies to 2 damage. So 2 damage is kind of like the lucky number. It's plumber, chickening, a lot of things have 2. So I think this turn we are going to... Hmm. I might save the unlife of the party one more time, and I has, I suppose we're just going to I think I'll drone engineer and get him get him going, and we'll save the one brain just for some protection. We'll be able to bungee something. Oh yikes! We're not bungeeing that. Uh, I guess we'll rocket that next turn. This thing will have four attack, right? Yeah. So we'll just rocket that next turn, and uh, that's fine. And our drone engineer is growing. I think we're just going to pass turn three and just rocket something and and bash the other one. I don't think there's a good enough play to justify anything else. Our life of the party is going to be very poor here because we're not going to we're not going to play a second minion here. So we'll pass. We will rocket this thing down and smash that. Yes. Are you kidding me? Question is, what do we really want to smash? I think we want to. That little pea shooter back there is going to get scary eventually, but I think anyway, we really want to get the... Our drone engineer is going to be a 3-3. So, yeah. We're going to for sure rocket this. And our, our paparazzi is going to be a 4-4 at the end of this turn. So, this is too much value to let it to smash. Hopefully, we'll get another chickening or something uh, to deal with that pea shooter. If not, it's going to be really hard to deal with, but I'm taking a chance there. I could have made an even trade and buffed the Valkyrie and just taken out that that pea pod. I really wonder if I did the right thing there. Could have go either way. Kite flyer, not bad, not bad at all. Question is, how do we use it? You know that that pea shooter might be alive until turn. I don't know what. I think we'll just do this. Unlife. The Kite Flyer will draw two cards. So he's doing fine there. Then he'll die miserably. No! Oh, that was bad. Our Science Zombie... Actually, our Kite Flyer will actually get buffed by the Drone Engineer. There goes the Drone. Oh, and we have a Smash. Wait, is it going to be up to three? Uh, it's a little bit out of range now. We can Smash this Nut, but... Yeah, that pea shooter is a little bit problematic. Maybe eventually we'll rocket it. We have two more rockets in this deck, so. Oh, wow. Pretty bad. So, Discotron's an option, Valkyrie's also an option. I think we'll save the Discotron for next turn. I think we will Valkyrie and uh, probably smash something. If not, we'll just draw cards. We have a lot of Fun Dead Razor. And we actually have one Fun Dead Razor in this deck, and we have two in hand because we got one from Eureka. Do I play this here? Yeah, I think I'll just play this here. We'll leave some options open. We really need a rocket right now in order to take care of that uh, pea shooter. We really could be playing a minion just to block it every turn, but that's obviously very inefficient. What's he buffing? He's buffing that. 
Shielded, no! Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was terrible. So, we're going to, uh... We're going to smash this. Keep our drone engineer alive. He's actually down to 8 health, so all we have to do is really just keep on hitting face here. And we'll be okay. I'm going to disco try next turn and the next turn rodeo, so... Yeah. Can I rodeo this turn? Oh, and we got a rocket! Yes! That was really good. We just have to hit him for five. So the rodeo actually... Is this turn seven? Is this turn seven? Rodeo is actually lethal here. Rodeo is lethal. As long as he doesn't play two minions. In fact, this is amphibious, right? Oh, the smackadamia is amphibious. Good game, man. <laughs> we are going to move that smackadamia over the water lane. So even if he plays two minions this time, we're still going to be able to move it. This is the one time being amphibious is a disadvantage. If your opponent is running either uh, Sumo Zombie or Rodeo Gargantuan or something that can move around his cards. So we are definitely moving smackadamia over to the water lane, hitting him for five. And unless he insta-blocks, that is yeah! the game, folks. Got it. <laughs> Oh, yes. That was a pretty good opponent. I like that guy. Kapow. Getting that money. Solar Flare. All right, we got our Unlife and Chimney Sweep, which is really good. Uh, will the bonus attack be good here? It might be. Turn two is probably going to be Unlife, Smash. Turn three could be Chimney Sweep, and I think I'm actually going to Mulligan here. I don't know if the bonus attack is going to be great, so we'll Mulligan, and I think that's actually better. We have some card draw, and we'll see what power we got. We've got Telepathy, so we'll actually use the Telepathy here. Hopefully we'll draw some, you know, if we draw a paparazzi, we'll probably go that route first and then sort of save the unlife of the party. Unlife is slightly later than paparazzi because you want, you have to be able to protect it early with spells and, oh, we got the paparazzi. So I think we're going to paparazzi next turn, actually, and then we can do the, the unlife play a little bit later, I suppose. Yeah, so we will paparazzi and... Uh, smash something. He water balloon. That's okay. If he uses a two drop against my one drop, I'm okay with that. Uh, even though I don't really have another play this turn, but whatever. Alright, we have Orchestra Conductor coming up, which is really good. So we are going to... And we have Chickening coming up. So we are going to... Do that in one. We'll, in four, we'll play the... Chick the chimney sweep in one and we'll be able to smash something this turn so if he plays I don't think he has anything that's gonna have m three health on turn three solar flare no he didn't have it to play wow <laughs> the pressure is so real I think we're no! just gonna orchestra, orchestra this time no he got his power please don't be your superpower mushrooms that's okay If they had been in the middle lane, I would have just waited and chicken to this turn. Um, I think instead of the orchestra, we're actually going to wait on the orchestra, and we are going to play Kite Flyer and Smash something this turn. And we can orchestra next turn. It'll be more value, and I, I really want to protect my own life of the party, at least slightly. Oh, wow. Good play. A fine play. So we will we'll smash this, just to keep our guy alive, and we'll be able to put on some more pressure next turn with the orchestra. Conductor. Hit him for three. We'll be drawing cards. The card factory is alive. I have a feeling that's where this game is going to go. It's going to go into the late game, and we're just going to out out card him. Wow, how great of a draw was that? Absolutely awesome. Here we go. We are going to play the brain vendor. Get our that's like a little free minion there. We're drawing lots of cards, so there's no problem losing a the card there. And we'll orchestra, and we still have one uh, 
left to be able to smash something. If he plays something small, it's against our kite fly or something like that. So we are he's just in a world of trouble, and he plays that. That's not smart. I would have played that on the kite flyer if I was his. Oh, wow. Negative one. Oh, okay. Just kills the vendor. It's not so terrible. If that's his whole play, I'm actually happy to see that. We're drawing so many cards, we're just going to keep on filling up our board. And I'm really happy the Kite Flyer survived, so we're going to keep on drawing cards with that. Bungie Plumber, not bad. Discotron! Do we Discotron here? It looks like he's, he's kind of removal-oriented, so I think we're actually... Even the berry would be terrible either way. We might want to save the Discotron for next turn. If we draw two cards, we could get a cadet. We haven't gotten one yet. Discotron, do I value that 1-1 one, one that much? We really don't have any. Yeah, we're just going to keep the pressure on. I think that's the correct play. So we'll do a 4-4 four, four, and a 3-1, which is not bad for, for 6. We don't have any protection this turn. So he could theoretically wreck us with something. Maybe a cherry bomb. A cherry bomb would be pretty bad. Wouldn't be that bad, though. Yeah, he cherry bombed there in lane 2, so that's the obvious place to do it. Uh, we still have a 3-1 who that's up, though, which is fine. And we're just going to draw Kurtz, and hopefully we'll get a minion here. That's not the minion we were looking for, but we'll, we'll draw some cards, and we'll draw some minions. And we'll remove whatever he, <laughs> whatever he plays this turn. Anything he play, anything and everything he'll play this turn, we'll be able to remove. Except for a flower power, which he doesn't have five left, so... <laughs> he just joined that. Okay... Two beam me ups would be really good here. Come on. Keep the pressure. We got one beam me up. That's fine. We play that in lane one. No need to do any bonus attacks or anything crazy. And we just need some minions or some card draw. A kite flyer would be excellent and we got another kite flyer. Oh yes. We're gonna keep on drawing these cards. I'm gonna wait with the Valkyrie until it gets really powerful. And we have a bonus attack in our hand, which by the way is such a great combo. The Valkyrie bonus attack. I have one Valkyrie in this deck. It could be a second one would be okay. It just it's kind of circumstantial. Like imagine I had a second Valkyrie in my hand right now. It wouldn't be good. And he does five damage to a two drop. Are you kidding me, man? Dude. Dude, I'm gonna smash this just to keep my uh my card alive. Do I bonus attack here with the Kite Flyer? He's gonna block, so I'm really not gonna be able to gain anything. I could Valkyrie next turn, so don't I have a play next turn. So his two powers left. One is to do two damage, and the other one I forget. Oh, that was a great draw. Great draw here. Do we fill up our board? Um Cherry Bomb doesn't do that much. I think we do fill up our board. We have to keep on putting on pressure, and we'll do it like this. We just want to separate the uh, th the disco zombie itself from the Valkyrie, I suppose. Maybe the Valkyrie should have gone in the middle since it doesn't die. Yeah, Valkyrie should have gone in the middle. Oh well. And the dancer should have gone. The backup dancer should have gone in lane one. Slight misplay, just in case he has another cherry bomb. Oh, and he plays that anyway, so that's fine. Pretty bad. We're still going to be able to draw some cards here. Question is, now that the Valkyrie's gone, I think I actually do bonus attack here because I really need some cards. I need some minions. I have a lot of field clear and stuff. So that was a great pick up the Disco. We just have to fill our board up. And hopefully he is has no more grapes. So we're actually drawing three cards here, and Paparazzi's also a great pickup. What else is in the bag? A Smash. That's totally fine. So let's play really well around the... Um, let's see here. We definitely have to put the paparazzi and the disco on opposite sides of the board. So I think we'll put the paparazzi here. And the disco here. We'll do it like this. And we'll smash this. I mean, we have a handful of removal for anything we could play, basically, except for a flower power. That's the only thing we don't really have an answer for. What is this? No! What? Random plan in each lane. Chickening! Chickening value! Are you kidding me? Look at this! 
Buck, 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 buck. That was a really good play, though. He still has this huge card in the field, which is going to start doing some heavy damage to us. We can rocket it down next turn. But we're still drawing cards. He still has a whole handful of cards. Yes, the Kite Flyer went out. So that's a, you're giving me slight circumstances that the Kite Flyer is not as good as drawing two cards as, you know, against an armored card, which there's only... How many armored plants are there? I think there's one, which is the uh, Beat card in the defensive class. No, that was really bad. Do we double chickening and smash here? No, we're going to save it. We're taking a ton of heat right now, though. I think we actually have to rocket this down, and we'll we'll do all the chickens and everything next turn. Hopefully, he'll he'll spend some of his cards now. Oh wow, this guy's putting up a really good fight. I don't know, on life of the party, he's really bad here. We're gonna actually save him, and we'll just use this turn as removal, I suppose. What? He he played nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> What an advanced play, this guy. He knows I have. I didn't play any cards. He knows I just have a handful of removal and chickening. This is a great player, whoever you are. Oh, this guy's good. What an advanced play. I have to put on some pressure here. Disc did I play my Disco China ready this game? Yeah, I did. I need something. Okay, I'm going to start playing some cards now. Uh, we'll play this in lane one. We'll play our Scotty and I guess some removal. Oh, he's drawing cards with this now. Yikes. This is a good deck. Solar Flare getting it done. He's also playing the late game. I have nothing to do here. I'm going to block one. I guess I'll scatty... And use one chickening. Yeah, I think that's the right play. Next turn I can chickening and smash something. So I'll block this one. We'll get Eureka, actually, which is going to draw us a lot of cards. Oh, yes. Absolutely. We need some big minions here. Come on. Not bad. Juggler. Imp. Not so bad now. We're up to turn 14, so we can play a plethora of cards here. He has Strike Through, though, which is really scary. So we have to remove one of those this turn. Um, we'll probably remove the first one. Six. I have. To, I want to play five, so I have three left. I think I'll do it like this. And we will chickening and smash something this turn. No. No. Well, at least he's using all of his cards up. So we're still technically alive. Even though we need a plumber smash or else we will die next turn for sure. So, Or we need a really lucky block. <laughs> no such luck. And a Scotty's not going to do it. We lost... Good game. Wow, this was a tough opponent. I'm telling you. We don't have a break, right? A block and a lightning bolt. Block lightning bolt would be our only break here. So I guess we'll sort of rely on that to happen. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. No, <laughs> the field clear. That's his third cherry bomb. Cherry bombs have been killing me. I guess that's the late game card. That's my real bane. So uh, I'll put this here just in case we insta block. But he won fair and square. Great opponent. Good job, Solar Flare. That's how you do it. So what was that deck list? He really got back into the game by playing that bazooka guy. That was like the huge. He really lasted a long time against me though. Another solar flare. That last game was amazing. I'm going to review the tape of that one and try to see what he did there. 
seemed like a very good uh, deck compilation. So I don't know if the bonus attack is really good early on. It's sort of a little bit more late game where it's better if you have paparazzi. So I'm actually going to ditch that. And this is a very good hand. Um, we might use turn two just to play a dry... A dry Scotty, possibly. And we have a Lightning Bolt, so we can actually play on Life of the Party on turn two and protect him with Lightning Bolt. Then turn three, we can play another Unlife and a Scotty that turn. Pretty good. He'll shoot us in the face with his power. And we blocked. What? <laughs> Should I play this? Uh, I'll save it. It's a nice little one drop. Maybe I could have played it there. Whatever it is, we'll die to, to Shroom for two anyway, so yeah, I'll save it. I actually like it when he plays his Shroom for two on turn one. He probably doesn't have another one in my hand, and that really adds a lot of protection to uh, stuff I have. Oh, I could still play this, actually. Do I play Summoning here? Will that be better for turn threes if I have? No, it won't be better, so I'm actually going to play this. I'll play it right here. Get a two drop. Come on, Conehead. Flag zombie! Are you kidding me? What? What? How great of a card is that? We're gonna be able to unlife, unlife Scotty this turn. What? And we got a brain vendor? Are you kidding me? We're gonna get three brains this turn. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Look at this play. You guys have no idea what's happening here. We're actually gonna dry this guy. We're gonna play him. Oh, this is crazy. Another unlife. And then we're going to brain vendor. And we're still going to be able to play three cards. Oh, this is crazy. I'll probably zap one of those mushrooms, I guess. I'll zap something. <laughs> Actually, we ran out of room on the board. I wish we had something. There's nothing amphibious in this deck. Dr. Brain runs zero amphibious cards. So the whole Brainy class has no amphibious. The two classes that have no amphibious are Brainy and Hardy. There's nothing that you can that can end up in the water unless you Eureka something, uh, which I have many times. <laughs> oh yeah, we're zapping that. We are zapping that down. Actually, our strong unlife is going to die, so I don't know if that was necessarily that smart. The heat is on. We need some removal. Please, chickens or something. That's okay. So the pressure is still going really strong. Actually, that one unlife is going to die. I probably should have... Yeah, I probably should have actually zapped this. What is that? Really? Okay, well, we'll Scotty. And that'll actually make our, our unlife of the party survive. I'm actually really happy to see that. That was fine. That's a pretty good card, Chomper. Solar card. Uh, brain vendor. <laughs> yeah, there is a rust bolt works very well with the flag zombie. Um, I think the one that's really going to be the good flag zombie deck. Oh wow, got a paparazzi. I mean, this this flag zombie is causing so much value. We can't use anything though. I hope he actually destroys something so we can play another beam me up and keep the. Unlife's growing. Yes, he does. That's fine. So this won't just be a fort. No, he killed both of them. No! What? Do we save this for next turn? Hmm. Nah. Keep the pressure. No reason why not. Chickens. Oh, wow. Question is, do we play our paparazzi and chickening, or do we try to draw cards here? We're really low on cards, but the chickening could theoretically be extremely good here. Um, it could also theoretically be really bad. I think we actually save the paparazzi, and we'll, we'll chickening when he has a, when he has a board. Kite Flyer is pretty good here. Paparazzi will save until we have some more cards and more options in our hand. Um, okay. 
That'll actually kill my... Ah, chickening would have been so good here. Oh well. It'll actually kill my kite flyer. So it'll be a pretty even one-for-one -one trade. And he's down to one card right now. And we're going to have uh, three in our hand. So we got some removal. And the paparazzi is just going to grow here. He's out of options. I mean, unless he has a flower power or a laser beam in his hand, this guy's pretty much over. Oh, and he got rid of a lane also. That's really bad when he reduces one of our guys down to zero because we don't really have anything except for Orchestra Conductor that can increase attack of minions. <laughs> what a perfect pickup. What a perfect pickup. Are you kidding me? Dude. Uh, we have to prevent the... We have to prevent... It doesn't really matter. I'm thinking playing around Cherry Bomb, but it doesn't really matter at this point. So we'll just smash something this turn. But for Paparazzi. Orchestra Conductor was a great... This is why I have Orchestra Conductor, because a lot of times you end up with a bunch of little, you know, semi-useless minions. On, and yeah, we'll smash that just to keep the pressure. In fact, if I would have smashed the other one, it would have been lethal. Oops, misplay. We're actually one off of lethal right now. But he rage quit. It was over. Professor Brainstorm. Getting it done as usual.